Hello, Capricorns. Hello to all of my Capricorns. Happy Motivational Monday to each and every one of you, Capricorns. Let's get it. Let's see what your cards have to say. This is an extension of your Sunday reading. Capricorns, let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say. The energy has already been cleared. And you already have the questions for Sunday's questions for the moon and Gemini. So you already have those questions. And this is just an extension of Sunday's uh, video. So this reading is for the 22nd of January through the 22nd of February. So let's do it. Ready to see what your cards have to say. Let's see what message your cards have. All right. You want to move on from miserable folk miserable energies anything that's trying to bring you down in any way shape form or fashion doesn't matter how long ago you've moved on from certain energy source needs you to move on from continue don't even spend a whole lot of time here we have the four pentacles the star card the god card the um king of wands the chariot card and then also the princess of swords four pentacles time is money pentacles energy is money right so you can look at it as like, you know, my star has shot, has always shined bright. It was definitely some energies who wanted me to bow down to them if it was their way or the highway. And I'm not doing that. I have my own way of doing things. You're a star in your own right. Meaning, meaning everybody is a star. Let me just say that. Everybody on this planet has a purpose. Everything on this planet has a perfect purpose, right? And so that's what you're focusing on right now. And you're focusing on balancing yourself out, just knowing that source is inside of you. So when you have experiences where people were trying to dim your light, you can say that was just a part of um, that was just a part of my experience here on earth. Doesn't change the light side of the number four, which is a choice. You can land on the light or dark side of just life in general, but four being a number, you're saying. I choose to land on the light side of the number four, which means, yep, that was a part of an experience I had in the past where energy was trying to dim my light. I'm not going to give it a whole lot of time slash money. I'm still going to shine bright. They didn't create you. So um, you have a lot of great ideas and trust this energies that are watching. They are watching to see what you post on social media. This just listening to, you know, conversations about you. Even these are people from your past that you they haven't talked to you in years. They're still connect. Oh yeah, I know so and so. And they're still going on what they knew about you back then where you've already evolved, right? And you're continuing to evolve. So here we have the Princess of Swords. Somebody is really starting to um, get ready to prepare yourself to be on your throne of swords, which means the throne of your power and your intellect. Starting to feel smart again, like smarter, like, okay, maybe you didn't, maybe somebody, you know, being around bullying energies, people who feed off of low self-esteem, people who just are narcissistic energies. It can, it can literally feel like the wind has been knocked out of you until you break away from those types of energy. So source is saying to you, um, some of you all have been married to those types of energy. Some of you all thought about marrying those types of energies. You could have been married to them in business and in, you know, romantically, but <clears throat> source is actually rewarding you for moving on from that and just letting your star shine bright. You, your star shining, your star shining bright, um, Capricorn does not make their star doesn't dim their light. You know, sometimes people feel like they got to, they got to you know, compliment, they got to tear somebody else down to make you feel better or vice versa, tear you down to make themselves feel better. You're not interested in any of that. If it does not involve helping somebody to their throne of ideas, if you have, if you got to have the worst possible ideas about whomever source is saying it's best for you to change the topic in your own mind, like change the, change the topic, either go ahead and cut ties with them. So it's out of sight, out of mind. And even if it should come back up in your mind, I need to change the subject in my mind. So somebody has definitely like prayer life has been increased. So now, you know, you have the power of sourcing you. It's not your way or the highway. So here we have this is the part of life. That's what that's the frequency I see somebody on. So you're not spending a whole lot of time on, you know, energies that have a God complex is their way or the highway. Like I said, very bullying type of energy. Here we have the um, Queen of Wands. So I see you feeling happy and free. Um, here we have the Nine of Pentacles, right? So I see you moving towards financial independence. Five of Pentacles and also the Six of Pentacles, right? So five and six, um, you got nine. You have um, 
four, four and six is 10, obviously. So that's your legacy that somebody's focusing on. And then we have, um, um, or we can do this, four and five is nine, double financial independence for you and somebody, whether it's you and somebody you merging with in business, marrying in business. So when I say marry, just so we're crystal clear, Capricorn, it's not just a romantic situation, okay? It can be married in business, like, you know, you got a new job. That's a contract, contractual agreement. They put you through a vetting process, all of that. Same thing you would do in a, in a romantic situation, right? Not everybody wants to be married. And so source has already cleared the path for that. Source is saying you're not looking for their approval, whoever it is. Um, and so you now you know what your purpose is. You're free and you're more versatile, right? You're not just kind of sort of stuck there trying to figure whatever out, right? And we also have the seven of swords. So source is saying move on from that way of thinking. Like I have to do things other people's way. You're not a robot, I would say for you all, since you all are the hardest working sign in the Zodiac, um, and you're really learning how to tap into your, your spiritual gifts, your intuition is a spiritual gift, um, premonition, deja vu, dreams, downloads, feelings, instead of you all, you know, thinking that you're going crazy or paranoid, I would strongly suggest Capricorns, you all start keeping a journal because, you all are going to, because you're just wired that way to work hard, both in your personal and your professional life, you're going to start think, you're going to start uh, seeing that a lot of that, those first thoughts that come to your mind, it was like, okay, I knew it. That's how you're going to start sharpening your gifts. But if you, if you have to go back to, I got to physically see it before I believe it. Remember every Capricorn is not, you all don't have, nobody has the same birth, I mean, birth chart, right? So you're going to it's start going to start making sense to you. You know, this seven energy right here is like, OK, what do I need to move on from? I need to move on from letting somebody blow towards me into making a decision or making me feel so bad about myself that I'm so low. I spend so much time on um, I, I spend so much time trying to think about what they said and criticize myself that it had it has a. It's counterproductive. It causes me to feel more low about myself versus inspiring me with a with a clear thing. It's it's kind of like this. Um, it's kind of like this, Capricorns. Imagine working on a job because some of you all have been in jobs like this where your manager, no matter what you do, you can never get it right. But whenever you go back for clear and concise instructions, there's never anything clear and concise. That is a setup for failure. There is no other way that you can look at that. It's a setup for failure. You're supposed to be in this position and the same thing with a significant other or whatever. Nothing I can do is right, but you can't tell me what I need to do in order to make things right with you. That is a setup for failure. You can't, you don't need to call it anything else. You don't even need to overthink it. It's a setup for failure. If I ask you what is going to make us happy in this relationship, whether it's a personal or professional relationship, even a family relationship, and you cannot tell me, and I got to sit there and keep spending all of this time trying to figure out what's going to make you happy. Guess what? I'm going to do both of us a favor. I'm going to remove myself from the equation. I don't like being on confusion. Uh, I don't like being on confusion lane. <laughs> I like complete, you know, clarity, right? So that's what I'm saying for you all. So I definitely see, you know, um, you being in relationships and I'm not just talking about romantic. I'm talking about you saying to people, this is how I need you to communicate with me. You know, you remember, um, Mercury just Mercury was uh, post shadow retrograde and post shadow retrograde is more like, like you can look at it this way. OK, November 25th is when we had pre shadow uh, Mercury went went pre shadow retrograde. Right. So that was like the pretest for communication and messengers. Right. How do messages get to you? Is it text message, email, different forms of communication, their memory versus your memory? Your opinion versus their opinion, doesn't matter who, whoever you got access to, don't overcomplicate this. Whoever has access to your universe, no matter how long ago you've seen them, haven't talked to them, whatever, your memory versus theirs, your opinion versus theirs, whatever, whatever, right? Communication messenger, right? Um, and 
when you didn't know what your purpose was on the planet, then you were kind of sort of waiting for somebody to put a nickel in your back and give you some instructions. But the the energy that were putting a nickel in your back, you know, some of them didn't have clear and concise rules. I mean, instructions themselves. That would be like working on a job where your manager doesn't really know. I like to I try to get people to benefit of the doubt. So let's say you work for a manager who didn't know clearly what the job was, what the even what assignments to give you, or what the end goal was, right? Um, certainly you're not going to be insubordinate and go above their head, but you at least cover yourselves. Okay. Well, if they're not clear, I'm sitting there putting in an email and if they're not clear, I can't be held accountable for what I don't know. I can, I can offer suggestions, but I'm not going to stress myself out. And if it gets to be that where now it's dumped on your head, okay, then I need to go find something else. I don't like living under that kind of stress of just, you know, mental fog, you know, that kind of thing. Same thing in a romantic relationship. So I, I see you saying, I see you having those clear and concise. Um, and this is part of Uranus currently being retrograde until January 24th. I see you feeling changed, liberated, and free from putting in so much time for energies who want you to basically bow down to something that's unclear. You have no idea how they communicate. They don't, they're not sharing with you. It's just a bunch of confusion. You're not interested. So I do see somebody meeting for those of you who are single and want to be in a romantic relationship. I see you definitely meeting somebody who is clear and concise, but more importantly, you don't have a problem communicating with them what works for you and what doesn't because everything has to be centered around your purpose. Hopefully that makes sense. Yeah. And the way that you're explaining to them is not based on, oh, my ex used to do this. Nobody want to hear about your ex unless they ask. Nobody wants to hear about an old job that doesn't exist anymore. That's outside of your universe. This is a year of worth. Nobody wants wealth. Nobody wants to hear about an ex love interest that didn't do you right or family members who are horrible to you. Put that in, t take that to a therapist's office. Source is saying to you, this is a year of wealth. Only speak into existence what you want to attract. All that other stuff. Mm -mm. Yeah, so you're a star. You know what your purpose is. You know that um, your gifts and your God given gifts and talents are going to make room for you. And so anything that's trying to come into your life to disrupt your peace, it has to go. It has to go. They can call you selfish. They can say what they want to say. It doesn't matter. It took somebody too long to find their purpose on this planet. And I'm telling you, life is a lot simpler when you know why you're here on planet Earth. Here we have the nine of wands, the seven of wands, the page of wands, the eight of wands, the nine of pentacles, and also the queen of swords. So yeah, um, nine of wands, the number nine is a death rebirth number. Somebody is trying to, somebody's energy wants to call you back into chaos and confusion. Mm -mm. The you today, you'll be able to defend your decision to say hail to the null without even coming across as being defensive because you don't need to say it to them. You're just not answering calls. You're leaving a bridge burned and moving on. Page of Wands. You got some new inspiration to keep on moving forward. And you're getting away, as far away from there as fast as you possibly can. Nope. Mm -mm. I ain't answering a phone call, no text message, no nothing. It feels so much better on the other side when I have purpose. I'm not stressed out. My money is starting to look better. Here's Nine of Pentacles. Nope. For me to go back, I would have to be Boo Boo the Fool. There is no way. <laughs> And last time I checked, that was not that was not on my birth certificate. I did not name air quotes boo boo the fool and whatever your last name. That was not on your birth certificate. So here we have the Queen of Swords. Mm -mm. People like to play all of these mind games, but when you know why you're here on this planet Earth, and just so we're crystal clear for those of you all who are still saying, I'm not really sure what my purpose is. It's this clear: every human being on this planet is here to help um, change other people's lives for the better, to make this planet overall better, right? Everybody has their own unique God-given gifts and talents that help us to accomplish that. That's your purpose. Don't overcomplicate it. Your purpose is not your zip code. It's not your job title. It's not how many people you manage. That's part of it, right? But your overall purpose is to help make this world a better place, right? Using your God-given gifts and talents. So it you can, you can, when you wake up and you're grateful to be alive, you have another day to help change someone's life for the better, starting with yours. You can set your intentions, right? So thank you, set an intention, right? And, you know, 
as source, you know? So, you know, what, what's my assignment for the day? How am I supposed to make other people's lives feel better? You know, including your own, right? And so lead and guide me. I'm, I'm wide open. You certainly been already, something has already increased your, uh, increased your prayer life coming out of relationships that just burned you, burned you out, stressed you out, cut into your money, messed with your mind. You've already been there already. You're not trying to go back to hell. Sources and hell on earth. So we're clear. So now that you've increased your prayer life, you've already, you on track for that, right? So now it's time to learn how to be in receiving mode. That's called meditation. You don't need to sit in a lotus position to be in meditation mode while you're making up your bed and getting yourself ready to fire up your laptop or, you know, go through that portal also known as a front door. When you're looking in the portal also as a mirror, the portal is a toilet bowl. The portal is the sink. All of that is a portal. I need to flush out, you know, any negative thinking that I have because I'm ready. I'm a cheerful giver for source that's inside of you. My, my job is to help make someone else's life for the better. And so this is where obedience is also important to Capricorn, because if, People are showing me that no matter what I do, I'm burning myself out and there's still no clarity and they're still making it about them and don't want to, uh, you know, that I'm just burning myself out. Then at some point I, before I burn myself out and ruin all the supportive relationships around me, I need to let them go. It, it's that simple. I need to release them. See, some of you all are already on the other side. And so you know exactly what I'm talking about. So drop some comments below to offer some other Capricorn some encouragement. Like, yep, I was there before. I couldn't do enough on my job. I couldn't do enough in my friendships, family relationships, romantic relationships. This is where you get an opportunity to bless somebody else's life. Team Capricorn. Offer them some encouragement because somebody is going through this right now where they just can't do enough and still keep getting burned out and feel like almost hopeless. Like, I just can't get this right. That's how you help other people. So that's going to make somebody feel good. You'd be surprised at how many Capricorn, how many people have tuned into my channel. And it's not just Capricorn readings. It's other Zodiac signs who they like. I thought I was the only person that was going through X, Y, and Z until I started reading the comments under the videos. And I'm like, oh my God, I thought I was the only person going through this. It's not like people are saying, it's nice to know other people are going through it. Like in that kind of way, it's more of less like, okay, it's nice to know that I'm not alone. And these people are offering me some kind of help, Right. So yeah, your money is going to look really nice. You, you're seeing nine of pentacles, nine of pentacles, nine of pentacles, right? So it over, overall, like in three areas of your life, financial independence and source is the one that approved you for that. So anybody that's trying to re see how this person is looking back, that's because your, your past is calling you back right before you walk through the vault door, their phone rings and X tries to call you, or you have a dream or download. Somebody is watching you or something, something, something right before you meet your person that you're going to end up getting married to in business and or in love. Here comes the past calling. Let it go straight to voicemail and then hit blocked. You don't even need to answer the phone. Everything is lighting up perfectly for you. There's another nine. Six and three is nine. Nine, 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 nine. Yep. Goes back to nine, right? Goes back to the number nine. You're dealing with, you're leaving some energies behind that are resentful. They're still egotistical, big headed. If you look at the number nine, it's in the shape of a big headed energy. Like a, it's, it's like a big head, right? Um, attached to a, attached to a, like a little, you know, like the little string, a big head, like a balloon. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. A balloon head, right? <laughs> That's what it looks like a number nine. That's what you leave it behind. People whose balloon had been burst. They thought that they was going to make themselves your God by running you ragged and driving you crazy. That's not, it hasn't happened. So yeah, they upset. And you went in both in your personal and your professional life. Yeah. Tower card, tower moment. That's your tower moment. It makes all the difference in the world. Like I'm telling you, it always happens this way. Somebody can even write it down. As soon as you're about to enter into a new blessing, like a, a new, like you're entering into a new portal, something you prayed for, here comes your past. Knocking on the door. Let them knock into their knuckles bleed. For real. You're not opening up the door. It's the past. Move on. Source is rewarding you for some things. Source is rewarding you for some things. 
exes always try to come back to, to they got one last thing to say now they got all this breath in their lungs now they want to I, I got I now I see the error of my ways and yes and this go tell that to that brick wall old jobs trying to call oh did you hear such a I don't, I don't even know about you, you got all this voice going on now but when I was in a job and I needed somebody to you know go to HR with me you didn't want to be bothered, but now you want to bring me to gossip. Go tell it to that brick wall. That's the only thing that's listening. Nine again. There's so many synchronicities when it comes to your wealth. I'm telling you, somebody's exes are trying to call you back. And if they can't call you directly, they're trying to call you via telepathy. And here we go. Approval again. Knight and seven of pentacles. Six. Yep. Six came out twice. Source is saying to you, look. You've been approved. You and somebody have been approved to be in each other's lives. Don't go back to an ex. Here we have the nine of um, wands came out twice. You know, both of y'all paths are calling. And I'm talking about in business and or in love, right? Both of your paths are calling. It can be even you and the siblings who pass are calling. It could be, you know, like you and your sibling could be like, can you believe who called me? Like, can you believe who called me? It's the same thing because you're entering into, you're walking in your vault door, walking into your vault door. See, after a number of times when you feel like you failed a test and you feel like, gosh, I don't know when I'm going to have an opportunity, you know, to, to step through that vault door to meet my actual person for my money to start looking better and those kind of things. That's when after a while of getting burned out, you'll be able to defend it. Like, no, nah, I'm walking in total faith this time. I'm in total faith. Somebody can stand outside and knock on the door until their knuckles bleed. I am not answering the call. I'm just blocking the number. I'm not responding to text messages. That's my reminder. Let me block this number. Let me block this email address. Block, block, blockity block. That's the frequency y'all are on. So, yeah, I see somebody getting married in business and or in love. But again, like I said, source is actually rewarding you for, you know, knowing what your purpose is. And just that versatility and freeing yourself, right? So in this vulnerable state where energies are trying to resurface from the past or, or someone's trying to keep you from walking through your vault door in any way, shape, form, or fashion, you're just asking source for strength. Source, give me the strength. Because they'll, they'll use anything to call you. Anything. When I say anything, anything. Here we have Six of Cups. So somebody is definitely entering into a very pure relationship, you know, with someone and um, just a, just a very, um, you know, just a very pure um, time for you and whoever new coming into your life, whether it's in business or, you know, romantic situation where your attitude is going to determine your altitude, leave the past behind. Don't go into something overthink because this is right here to a point of burnout and your thoughts with your earth. Imagine taking a um, imagine taking a heater to a uh, um, harvest. You've planted all these seeds. I want to get married. I want to work with this person. I want to work with that person. I want my money to grow. And all of these things that prayers are being answered for and your phone rings or something comes up in your memory or your mind about somebody from your past. So it's just like go right back to doing things that nurture your spirit so that you don't overthink it to a point of exhaustion confusion. I wonder why? Because we're moving towards a full moon. So yes, that full moon is La Luna for a reason. Some people, some people that lunatic in them is rising up as we get closer and closer to that full moon and people will try to call you certain friends, certain, um, you know, from the past that have burned bridges with you, they want to call you. You know, I mean, <laughs> And so source is saying, I'm giving you some time. Somebody's going to feel very lucky, but it's really not luck. It's your heart, Capricorn. I, I, I guess I can't reiterate this enough for you all. You all are very hardworking. And I don't, I don't want to sound like I'm just constantly doting on you all because you know yourself. Don't make this rocket science. If you got to carry around, like open up that note part of your, um, your cell phone and start jotting down those thoughts that come across your mind throughout the day. And at the end of the day, make it a ritual. At the end of the day, I'm going to shut everything down. I'm going to go back and read the notes that I wrote. And I'm going to start asking source to make it make sense in a way that I would understand. That's you, right? And that's what's going to happen. You'll see. And watch how your life changes. Because watch, you're going to start recognizing like, wow, you know what? 
I did put a whole lot into certain situations where I was still left confused even after, after I asked for clarity. I was still confused. And I'm so busy trying to process thoughts that every time I thought I was processing one thought, here comes something else coming at me fast. And I didn't even get a chance to, I didn't even get a chance to process it without people saying, oh, I was holding a grudge or, oh, you still on that? I've been past all of that. Okay. You don't want to be in those spaces, Capricorn, at all. All right. So let's get ready to shut this down. Let's go ahead and close this out. Let me just see if there's anything else that I have before we can go ahead and, um, yeah, I think we I think we got everything. Let me get some oracle cards and then we're gonna go ahead and close it out. But yeah, I want y'all to win. Like I want y'all to be a part of this wealthy year, the year of wealth. So this is part of the purging process I've been talking about. You don't have to wait until March 2nd where Pluto officially goes uh, retrograde. You can start the purging process now. Don't answer something from your past that tried to burn you or left you in a state of confusion. You're not trying to prove anything to them that, hey, I finally met my person. I finally got that, you know, those business opportunities I've been going after. I finally feel like I'm good enough. Who are they? They are, <laughs> I, can't, I can't even stress that enough. People wanting you to report to them. Woo, let's all keep it cute on the throne. Yep. So yeah, I do see, I do see some really, really good news. And some of y'all are already there. Some of y'all are married to your person where you feel like, man, I remember I went through that. Offer somebody some encouragement, please. It's a lot of people struggling. Here we have Wildcat 44. Be still and tune in for there's something aloof lurking alongside you. Yeah. Yep. Something loofing, uh, lurking alongside you and see the thing about people spreading things like wildfire they try to get other people involved in a bunch of mess right and so they will never they're so arrogant they will never come back and say oh you know i was wrong about this and i was wrong about that they're not going to say that you know and so that's what source is saying be very careful because and this is not for somebody to be paranoid at all because trust me you got people looking and you got just like they watching people watching them too so you you ain't scared <laughs> not at all you're not scared not at all because people watching them too waiting for them to pounce you want to act like you're in the wilderness jump please jump so that's what that's what um that's what i'm trying to tell you is that you know when we talk about 44, which is a master number, four and four is what? Eight, right? You're dealing with energies that are have landed on the dark side of the number eight. Like I said, egotistical. People who are forceful, egotistical, and materialistic, right? Or people who have succumbed to passive and powerless behavior. Love to keep some drama going. Never have, in, in just the same way that they weren't making things clear, with you when you ask for instruction they don't make things clear with anybody they like chaos and confusion because they're in their own personal hell and who is the author of confusion the devil we're not calling them the devil this is energies that have succumbed to their own demons and so you're not succumbing to yours of fear and doubt there is no reason for you to be paranoid you have you're in a very vulnerable position and source got you covered here we have elemental wisdom that's right elemental wisdom They got so much dust kicked up and, and, and want people to um, threaten you and do all of this kind of stuff. They don't even know who you attach to for real. They don't. They really don't. I don't think some of y'all know who you attach to. I, I really don't think that some of you all know the links that some of your loved ones will go to to protect you. But why should they be in that position when God is the one that's telling you that you're divinely protected? You don't have to operate in fear. Start talking to some loved ones and start saying, this is what's going on in my life. You know, some of them are in law enforcement and they being watched. Some of these people are being, they don't even know they, I'm trying to tell some of your loved ones are in law enforcement. You need to call some of them off the record. Hey, I need to talk to you about something. How should I proceed? Should I physically go into a police station or do I need to call? Like, do I need to hire an attorney? Because this is what I'm kind of sort of thinking, such and such and such and such, whatever, legally, obviously, right? But some of these people don't even know that they're being watched right now. They don't. That's why I said it would be foolish of them to make some kind of move when 
there's too many of your loved ones. See, these gifts didn't come from just you. I think some people really believe that the gift started with them like you fell off the back of a turnip truck. These gifts are in your family. A lot of your family members are so highly intuitive and gifted. Some of them are like, we know something is going on with Capricorn and Capricorn is not saying anything. Maybe because you're trying to process it and that's okay. But again, if you have a support system, talk to your loved ones, not to get everybody all riled up because that's what they do. You know what I'm saying? That's what these, these um, egotistical bullying types of energies like to do. You know, but there's nothing wrong with just saying, hey, you know what, if <clears throat> if um, if I feel like, you know, I had a dream, if, if you say I had a dream or download and I had a kind of a nightmare to such and such and such and such, and just letting loved ones know. A lot of people are so afraid to tell loved ones, hey, look, I feel like, you know, whatever. So here we have allowing radical acceptances, yes to reality in any given moment. So what's needed can come next. Yeah. Somebody may need to accept the fact that when you're dealing with very bullying types of energies, that they don't really stop. They like the, they're, they're really cowardice. But if they feel like for any reason you're scared or you're running from something or whatever, there is nothing wrong with taking preventive measures and um, letting someone know, you know, call your friends ahead of time and say, hey, look, you know, um, if I'm not home by a certain time or if I saw a car, I mean, this, if I saw a car that just seemed suspicious or whatever, and I was driving home, can I drive to your house if somebody lives near, you know, like, I don't know. There's, there's so many different things. If you got law enforcement or whatever, your family, ask them, how should you proceed? You know, you've got a support system. Like it, it's too much, it's too much information for somebody to sit there still trying to process some things when sources try to tell you that. You're actually being blessed in your personal and your professional life. Good things are happening for you. Good things are happening for you. But if you've been dealing with a bully type of energy or energies that are, they like to gossip and keep stuff going. They may seem innocent at first, but those, those kind of spirits that keep, you know, people that like to they love, keep stuff, to keep stuff going. They always start in a fire somewhere and then acting like they playing innocent after they get everybody around them all riled up. Oh, well, somebody told me this and somebody told me that now you got somebody who is a loose cannon and who's off the, off the rails, you know, who's now fired up and mad because of something else and thinking that. Yeah, so source needs you to protect your energy and protect your loved one's energy as well. So, you know, there there is, like I said, especially if you're entering into a new romantic relationship with somebody, they don't want to be blindsided by an ex who is just like you thought, oh, I never thought that they would do anything like that. Why didn't you when they tried to do it to you? Yeah, so somebody is definitely watching to see if you're currently, you know, about to start dating somebody else. That's for those of you who are want to date or you got some kind of business, something going on, a lurking and watching. Even with somebody that's brand new in your life. Yeah, there we go. What I say in the beginning, somebody apologizes for hurting you, but I'm telling you, listen, that's how it starts out. I apologize if I misunderstood you. Tell it to a brick wall. You're not interested. You're not interested. Tell it to a brick wall. You are not interested. That may sound harsh to some people, but once you see that kind of spirit jump out, that animal spirit jump out where people are reactive and they're trying to get you to be reactive and you could have ruined some friendships and support systems around you, never let that type of energy back into your life. And I know everybody's evolving, but once you see it and they see that fear in you, then that's what they prey on. You you saw it come out. Some people at their lowest, they still wouldn't hurt you. They're just like, I would rather leave you alone than be, before, you know, a, a dark side come out of me. I've evolved, I you know, but this energy right here, mm -mm. nope. Because I'm telling you, and again, this is a general reading, but somebody is watching them because somebody already knows how evil they are. They're already being watched and they don't know it because they're too busy watching you. Talking about apologizing for hurting you. <laughs> 
tell that to a brick wall because I'm telling you, you got some. I mean, oh my God, somebody got some good, some good news coming your way. I'm serious. Here we have my future is an ideal projection of what I envision now. Your future. Remain. Remember, you're not going back to no. Uh, uh you're not going backwards. Please, Capricorn, don't go backwards. Because it would be a complete setup. First, it'll start off as an apology. But it's a setup because they've already seen something in you. They've already seen a weakness in you. Don't go back to that. Because when you react, then they got you. All of a sudden, they're the victim. You're not reacting to anything. You're responding by no response. No, cut the air supply. This fire cannot live without air. You're an earth sign. Uproot it and get that out of your garden. That's not what you want to grow. You want to grow and build with an energy that gives you time to process people who are not trying to compete with your support system, people who are not trying to scare you by bringing people around who's trying to bully you to see, you know, if they can bully you into stuff and cause you more misery because they're miserable in their own personal hell. You don't want to have anything to do with that. Because I can tell you right now, if you that weak and you bring that mess back around your family, they are not going to be forgiving. Now you want everybody to get together and hold hands and sing Kumbaya. No, they're not doing that. <laughs> your family, trust me. When the, what I'm picking up in this cards right here, your family are not going to show them any mercy whatsoever. And that's kind of what they want because they've been trying, somebody's been trying to isolate you either in the workplace or trying to isolate you in a family situation. But I'm going to tell you, your family is not going to be nice to them at all. You can think what you want to think. Oh, it's just me and them against the world. Okay. <laughs> 33, I am expanding. Any positive changes or projects that you're considering right now will be worth your while. Expect that your power to manifest and create will be heightened. I'm telling you, your prayers are about to be answered fast. Things are already happening for you all. Don't go back to the past, please. Because somebody thought that you thought, where's the card? That King of Wands came out. They want you back into a situation because they're not finished with you yet. That's horrible, right? That's horrible that a narcissist would not be finished with you yet. They, Somebody really needs to watch some videos on narcissism. They're never done with you. They never, the apology is not a real apology. I'm trying to help somebody before something bad happens. Just keep on moving forward because... You, you've been praying for the very things that's coming into your life, your love life and so on. I don't care if it's a narcissistic um, sibling that showed you that they hate you. I don't care if it's a narcissistic ex-friend. It doesn't matter who it is. A narcissistic per person you were married to that's, well, I just want to make you right. I see the error of my ways. Good for you. I, don't even tell me. I don't care. I don't want to know. That's just outside of my universe. So that's what I'm trying to tell somebody is like, this is serious. This is really, but again, this is not for you to be paranoid. You're divinely protected by source. So do your part, recognize what your purpose is. That's what this tower card is. Recognize what your purpose is. And they don't align with where you're going. You're already a star. It was never meant for them to be on your arm. It was never meant for them to walk through that vault door with you. Never. The only reason why source sent them across your path. So we're clear is to help you to identify your demons. That's it. There's no other reason. It was only to help you to identify your demons. That's it. Now that you've identified them, that you, that you, even though you're the hardest working sign in the Zodiac, before you knew what your purpose was, that you will work yourself into exhaustion to please other people. You're not doing that anymore. That is what I have for you. Let me see if there was any other, I think that's all the cards, but yeah, you got, this is what's happening. You're not letting people bully you anymore. And you're not letting them put you in positions where other people will be bullying you so they can sit back there with a Cheshire cat grin on their face and say, mm, okay, I can make Capricorn do what I want to do. And that's all I'm going to say about that. That's what I have for you all, Capricorn. So congratulations on some kind of partnership in business and or in love. Uh, coming across your path. It looks like two situations are coming across your path and it's going to make your star shine even brighter and they won't have any access. But see, the, uh, look at it from a higher frequency is that they are benefiting from your star shining bright because you're motivating them. They just don't have direct, they just won't have direct access to you anymore. And so there's too many prayer warriors that have been here for you. So when I tell you that people are watching, people, it's enough people that already know what you've gone through and situations. And so, um, 
if you won't make phone calls, you know, to handle things legally, like hire, have, you know, an attorney or get law enforcement or whatever involved, you got family members that's ready on standby to do it. Because I feel like when I look at the cards right here, them apologizing to you, sometimes people feel like, well, I, you know, what's it going to hurt if they, they just apologizing. Mm -mm. They're in their own personal hell. They only go, I'm telling you, I can't say this enough. And I hate to sound redundant because I feel like somebody, that temptation, this right here, that temptation will cause somebody to say, well, I mean, it's just, I mean, it's just innocent. Okay. That's not what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a different type of spirit. So that's what I have for you, Capricorns. I'll see you all on midweek Wednesday. Bye.